this machine of trains yeah when you search for a ticket from somewhere to other place and this machine shows you like the shortest path from for example Jena to Berlin that's actually running an algorithm over the graphs of all the stations in Germany you can see graph in your everyday life for example you can think of the network of your friends yeah you have some friends and those friends also have some other friends which can be also with friends with you so basically this is a, again a graph and nowadays there is a software that generate your friends networks from facebook so you can basically see for example how many uh, steps you need to get maybe to merkel or any famous person i studied uh, in uh, sharif university it is the one of the best universities in iran uh, it is actually the university that the Maryam Mirzakhani uh, has studied there. Uh, she is the first uh, woman field medalist of the world. She also did graph theory and some part of her studies. There is this way that you get from real world problems to some graph. And then when you solve this abstract stuff in mathematics, like mat matrix and graph problems, you are actually solving this problem from the real world. Ja, wir sind ein Lehrstuhl der Informatik, ähm, der aber sehr interdisziplinär aufgestellt ist. Wir versuchen halt ganz bewusst mit vielen anderen Disziplinen zusammenzuarbeiten und die Idee dabei ist immer, ein Problem zu lösen, das aber nur dann lösbar ist oder effizient lösbar ist, wenn man die Struktur des Problems auch kennt. Das heißt, man muss ganz klar mit den anderen Wissenschaftsdisziplinen sich auseinandersetzen, man muss deren Sprache sprechen, Teamfähigkeit, Kommunikationsfähigkeit, das sind solche Eigenschaften, die man als Informatiker ganz besonders braucht. Es geht darum, dass wir physikalische Prozesse modellieren, ja. Ja, zum Beispiel die Grundwasserkontamination oder ähnliche verwandte Anwendungen wie zum Beispiel geothermale Kraftwerke. Wir haben Einflüsse, wir haben einen Ausfluss, was, das heißt Wasser fließt von unten links nach oben rechts und das Rote ist eine Verunreinigung. These problems are hard to solve and hard to solve means that they, it takes a, lo a long time, maybe sometimes a year to be completed or sometimes it's so big and large that they cannot even uh, put, uh, have it in, in their computer or in their laptops or so. So they come to us and we try first of all to understand the problem. So we sit together, we should have a lot of meetings together. They explain us, but not, uh, not everything because we cannot be again the chemist or be uh, like a geoscientist or so. But they just explain us uh, most of the time the mathematical part, the mathematical modeling and uh, what we really need for the, to get this model and compute it in computer. My professor is like the best one I had so far in my research career. Like uh, you can uh, really discuss with him a lot. Although he is really busy because he is also the boss of this chair. So he, he has a lot of things to do, but he always try to find some time for you. So we had a lot of time to discuss uh, uh, the papers together, the ideas together. So that's one of the best uh, thing that I had in this faculty. Die Studienbedingungen hier an der Uni sind für Studenten herrlich. Wenn ich die Chance gehabt hätte, hätte ich hier studiert. Yeah, I really like city. And I think everyone can say that uh, the best uh, feature of the city is uh, getting to the uh, nature in uh, like 10 minutes from the city center. The good thing is that whenever you last in Jena, you can just go in the direction of that tower and so you are in the center. So actually you never lose in Jena.